Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how to create uh, a strong wireframe and uh, the process which uh, I usually go through when creating wireframes with uh, clients. Now, I'm a UI UX designer with uh, over 8 years of experience and I've been working with uh, clients from all around the world and wireframes are essential parts uh, of my UI UX design workflow because essentially what wireframes do is uh, creating the structure for the project and uh, this can be a flow or a specific screen and uh, in this video I'm going to talk about uh, how we create them for websites specifically but uh, the same principles apply also for web apps, uh, iOS apps uh, and uh, any project in between really. So the very first thing which I do when creating the wireframe is to don't create a wireframe. So by this I refer to the fact that I do a lot of research and I want to understand the client project, the company overview, I want to understand the target market and especially I want to understand what are the main goals of that specific screen or flow in an order of hierarchy. So for example, if I'm tackling a website landing page project, there's going to be a lot of different informations and call to actions which I need to communicate and add into the wireframe. And I want to talk about what are the most important ones in an order of hierarchy. So for example, once I land on the landing page, um, the client might want uh, the user to understand immediately what the, what the company is about and uh, as the second thing uh, they want them to book a call with them. So once we structure these and um, I usually do this uh, in a way which is collaborative and uh, we create the bullet points uh, establishing what are the um, things that we need to communicate in an order of hierarchy and uh, as the second step uh, we want to understand uh, what are the main problems uh, that could occur that the user could have so we basically create another bullet point with the possible problems such as uh, um, what we do as an agency is not clear or, th or things of that nature and um, essentially what this helps us uh, is to have an overview uh, from the top, so almost a bird's eye view on the project even before we start sketching anything. And uh, once we have that clear and we understand the context in which we're operating, now we're ready to, uh, to make the wireframe. And uh, what I usually do is uh, I would uh, um, either take out uh, a piece of pen and paper and start wireframe, uh, start creating the wireframe. Or one of the things which I really like to do these days, uh, even better than that, uh, is to hop on a collaborative uh, software like Figma and uh, I might have uh, a uh, collaboration session with uh, the client live on Figma or I can even do the wireframes myself, I have all of the specs already and uh, basically over there I'm going to create a very rough uh, idea of what the website uh, is going to look like. Now the very important thing uh, about this process is to really make it rough at first and you don't want to get caught into the details, you don't want to uh, establish if the button is going to be rounded buttons or squared buttons or anything in between and um, because you want to focus on the high level picture you want to understand uh, the the high level view and uh, you want to aim for quantity so you don't you ideally don't want to create only one wireframe but you're going to create a few options in order to see which one is going to accomplish the goal in uh, the best way possible and um, essentially once you create uh, this wireframe and you discuss with the client and uh, you kind of look at the checklist which uh, you created before with all the bullet points you can, you can kind of check the, the bullet point compared to the wireframe and uh, if it all looks good if it all uh, if the UX structure is solid then you can move on to the UI design process so I hope this video was helpful if you like uh, um, videos about the UI UX design and even software tutorials feel free to subscribe to my channel and uh, if you like this specific video um, leave a comment below let me know and uh, uh, also leave a thumbs up and if you have any questions regarding UI UX design wireframing or anything in between uh, feel free to let me know either in the comment section or on a DM on my Instagram portfolio so this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one